and welcome everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Training's SAP Analytics Cloud Tutorials. In this episode, we will talk about SAP Analytic Designer tool, which is inbuilt inside SAP Analytics Cloud. We will try and understand why we use Analytic Designer tool, and we'll look at a very small use case to see how can you realize your first analytic application using SAP Analytics Designer. For detailed training on SAP Analytics Cloud and Analytics Designer, you can subscribe our course on anubhavtrainings.com. So let's understand why we use Analytics Designer as part of SAP Analytics Cloud. So what are the top three reasons why would you use it? So these are all the top three reasons why would we go with SAP Analytics Cloud Analytics Designer. So first reason is if you would like to build a complex application or a custom application, depending on your custom use cases, which are not fulfilled by the normal stories in Analytics Cloud, you would go with SAP Analytic App Designer. It allows you different types of widgets, for example, sliders, input controls, drop downs, radio buttons, and check boxes to be able to design in a very user friendly manner an end to end analytic application. You will also be able to leverage all the features and widgets which are part of a normal story in Analytics Cloud. The second reason would be if you would like to design an analytical app which has the scripting capabilities and using those scripting capabilities you can perform dynamic uh, logic and calculations you can go with analytic application designer option three is also taking your actions to insights so many times you would like to have an insight on the chart data and from there itself you would like to take an action you can right away do that by making a closed loop scenario by invoking an auditor service from analytic designer using the scripting capabilities to be able to talk to your existing S4 HANA system or any backend system where you have Odita connectivity. So let's take a quick scenario for our today's uh, demo session use case. So I will probably explain you what is going to be our scenario and how are we going to leverage today this analytics cloud. So what I've already done in my last session is created a data model using CDS analytic query. I hope you have seen that video. If not, please go back and check my channel for looking at how to use CDS analytic query as part of SAP analytics cloud. So I'm going to leverage the same model and what I want is I would like to design a table. And as part of this table, what I will have is I will have country. I will have total gross amount or the sales i will have the tax amount and then of course i have the profit here so these are all the existing measures which i have as far as my existing data model is concerned now i would like to add um, another field a dynamic calculated field here say new profit so my requirement is to analyze in case due to government policy change if there is an increase or decrease in the tax amount what is the impact of it on my profitability of the company? So the simple formula for the profit here would be profit is equals to gross amount, gross revenue minus tax, simple. So, but now due to change in tax, it impacts my profit because it is negatively impacting my profit when there is a change in the tax. So suppose there is an increase in the tax by 10%, then how it is going to impact my profit. So my new profit formula will be very simple. It is going to be gross minus my existing tax plus my 100 plus increase, which is in percentage, divided by 100. So actually my tax component is increasing. As a result of that, my profit is decreasing. So here this incre increment in the tax, I would like to create it as a variable. And this variable I would like to control with the help of a, uh, with the help of a slider control. So we will be adding a slider control, which will have values from between zero to 100. And this slider customer can probably change the slider at any point of time to 10%, 20%, 30, 40, whatever. And depending on this change, dynamically my new profit value should populate in the table. So this kind of a scenario where you need this slider control now to be able to influence things or you would want an input field or you want a fixed drop down or you would like to have options for different check boxes or you would like to have options for radio buttons, then you can go with analytical app designer for doing all these things. Yeah. So let us go ahead and see this scenario. 
in the system now we will first uh, use our data model to create our first analytical application and then of course just uh, draw these things on the system and then finally create a scripting variable uh, which is a variable which is uh, increase in the tax and this variable will influence my total new profit value so let me go ahead to the system and this is our system and we will start creating a new analytical application over here so let's create new analytical application and now over here we will of course first of all add a table and this is based on my existing data model which i have already created using cds in the last class and we will just choose our dimensions uh, measures so tax and profit so now i can see it's showing me all the tax and profit amount i would like to do it based on each country so i will choose my country field as a dimension and of course i will now switch over my list report styling as a report styling option so let me choose it as a report styling this must be the styling setting so i go back so table properties the template which i choose is a report style awesome and now what we are going to do is in this table we are going to um, calculate the new profit value after the increased tax but before that for having an increment in the tax I have to define a scripted variable so let me also rename this table let's say my um, new profit or profit table I can say tab profit and I define a scripted variable and let's say tax amount or tax increase and then of course we can just define this as a number and I will choose the default value as zero and of course this is what my tax percentage value which user is going to enter you can also go back and choose um, uh, the data context and there are different options to choose from but that's fine I click on done and now I will go back straight to my table go to designer panel and let's add a new calculated measure here so I will add a new calculated measure and I will say new profit and the formula for the new profit is going to be my gross amount deducting the increased tax amount so what is the increment in the tax amount that's what we are going to deduct from this so we will have an increased tax amount so first let's calculate the tax amount tax amount current tax amount plus 100 plus my tax amount variable tax percent variable divide by 100 so that's my new tax amount and this new tax amount i need to subtract from my gross amount so it's a gross amount minus my tax amount we are done let's click on ok and of course we can see currently since my tax value is zero you can see my profit is almost the same as what we have already in the system so you can see almost the same yeah there's not hardly any difference with the existing profit but now I'm going to add a slider and that slider is going to change my values at runtime so I'm say change this label also to make it more meaningful for the end user so table or impact of tax on profit and let's add a slider control from the options so this is my slider widget let's make it equal size as my table and let's select a couple of options over here on the slider to enable it and of course um, we can just go ahead and choose it as an input based on a scripted variable and link it with my scripted variable so current value is zero now what i want to do is whenever my slider value is changing i would like to take that value and as initialize my scripted variable tax person so let's create tax person is equals to my slider control dot get value so this is the scripting capability is what you get and of course you need to have a basic idea of javascript to be able to utilize these concepts for detailed training on SAP Analytics Cloud Designer, feel free to subscribe our course where we have shown also how to use JavaScript inside the scripting panel as part of Analytics Cloud Designer.
Now coming back, we would also select our table that after this is done, please go back to my table, get its data source, and then just refresh my table data. So this is my code, and I will save my application now in the system. So I will say tax applic tax profit analytic app. Let's click on OK. And I hope we are ready to execute this application and see the difference. So let's go ahead and execute our app, which is going to launch in a new session. So the current value of my tax is 0%. So let me go ahead and increase. So watch out this new profit. It's going to change depending on that. So I'm going to just increase it by, let's say, there's an increment of the tax in by 10%. What's the impact of that on my profit? Yeah. So that's what we can see. Now, as you can see at the moment, this value is not changing, which means there is something wrong. We have to go back and look at our application. We might have done something wrong. So I guess we have to relook at our calculation. So let me go back. And over here, we have one story calculation for new profit. And I will go back to the formula. And let's see what mistake have we done here. And yes, I think I should use the multiplier operator instead of addition operator there. Click on OK. And yeah, now that, that was also the difference. You can see this 18 was getting 17 because of that change. And now I will save my application. Go back again. Reload my application. Initially, the value will be initialized with my variable as 0. And now let's see increase the tax by 10%. And voila, you can see. I have got my new profit calculated at runtime depending on the increment in the tax amount. So maybe I can just quickly use my calculator to, to, to just see if am I going right or wrong. So current tax amount is 33359.60. The 10% of that will become 3335.9. And my current property is 175577. 175577.20. Let's reduce uh, 33. 35.96 and that's a 10% reduction. So let's see what's the value. New value is 172.241.24 and that's an exact match. You can see the system is calculating for us at runtime. Fantastic. So that was how you can use SAP Analytics Cloud Application Designer to be able to do things. You can, of course, uh, do a little bit of formatting out here. Maybe just quickly add a label for the uh, label for the tax amount and can just come back and say tax amount in percentage increase. So that's the label user can, of course, now choose here. So this is how my label looks like. Maybe I'm going to also add a shape out here. So let's go to the being a shape control. And we can just squeeze a little bit and just move it, move the shape here. And I'm just going to send it back. Send it back and now change this label color also to So now you can see I've got this slider a little little brighter color now looks like better and you can save this and then let's have a look at our final application. So I'm going to reload. So a little bit of styling to make our application more attractive for the end user. And of course you can increase the value. So whatever value you increase accordingly the tax value will increase and accordingly our profit will also come down. So this is a very good insight the users can get. And in our next episode, I will show you how to add an in-cell chart and also probably add another chart to analyze for a one particular country how the impact of the profit would be. So see you in the next session for this tutorial on SAP Analytics Cloud Designer. Again, a quick reminder, if you're willing to learn the end-to-end -end SAP Analytics Cloud with all the capabilities of BI planning, analytics, and predictive, Feel free to subscribe our course on SAP Analytics Cloud with anubautrainings.com. With that, Anubhav signing out. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.